A big game load for the Nepalese Brunswick rifle. And we're continuing our saga of trying to get the Brunswick rifle to shoot well enough that I can ethically use it on game. We've tried several things before, including shooting the special belted ball which the Brunswick rifle was designed to shoot, but, without poor but with poor success. The reason is the gun is poorly rifled. It has two ridges of metal that stuck above the bore on both grooves, which just tore the patches to pieces, and consequently they did not shoot well. However, we have taken a drill and we have lapped that bore and we have removed serious amounts of metal from it. So, as you may be able to see here, this metal is from those grooves mostly. So we have smoothed up the bore and in fact the patches do shoot better. Previously I had fired three shots in a group about this big at 30 yards, which is good compared to what I was doing before. So we're going to try it again. I've already fired one shot down range and I want to show you how we load. Okay, you've got gun, remove spent cap, guns up, 100 grains of powder, All right. Down the bore. We've got our 11 gauge wad. You fit it in the grooves like this and turn it. You can seat it with a little short starter if you like to get it started straight. Take ramrod, ram it down the bore, seat it. went crunch. All right, then the mystic part here. This is cream of wheat. And we pour some cream of wheat down the bore. I use three measures here. One, two, three. When I get down to doing this seriously in hunting, I'll just make me a separate measure for that instead of using the base of that 69 caliber hollow base bullet. Okay, patch round ball. Now you index the patch round ball in the grooves. Seat it with short starter. Knife. Cut the patch. Needless to say, your knife needs to be a little bit sharp because this is a tough material. It's pillow ticking cloth if you want to be precise. Then ran the ball home. Seat it. Okay. Now, we're ready now. We'll put a cap on here when I get in shooting position and we'll actually shoot it. I'm putting the camera at an angle here to show you two bullseyes. This is a spotter target. This is actually what I'm aiming at. This is the strike of the first bullet. With luck, the second bullet will be somewhere nearby. So we're going to go shoot and you'll be able to see the strike of the bullet on the target. Bang! Hopefully somewhat close to We have fired the shot and you can see how it did. It actually hit here. So we now have two bullet holes in about two inches. So I'm going to load up, shoot again, and we'll see what happens. Okay, 
we now have three shots. Now this is as close to an equilateral triangle as you can get. In ballistics, what this is telling you is that what you are seeing is actual variation having to do with the rifle. So this is a realistic looking group. The more I shot this gun and the dirtier the barrel got, the wider the group became. Consequently, I have to clean this barrel after every three shots for good shooting. However, for hunting purposes where you almost never fire more than two shots at a piece of game, yes, I can use this gun and I'm going to take it out and I'm going to see if I can get a deer with it in a few weeks and maybe later even an elk. So, as it turns out, with much work and labor, yeah, we finally got this thing to shoot. So we're going to go out and give it a whirl.